So this is going to be the hub area with all the uh, important stuff for you to do between missions as well as a sign up for missions. But first I got to get through the tutorial. Ah, so the next step before we... Is this kind of no opa the best we can recruit these days? This one could be useful. Claims to be a loyal servant of the throne. Sounds great. This... I'm Sergeant Major Morrow. Your fresh meat. Mission briefings come through me. Let's see what you can do. All right. Get to the Sycanium. So far, so good. Next up, you're to report to Stephanie at the Sycanium for additional training. Take my advice. Don't stare. She doesn't like it. You must be the new recruit Explicator Zola spoke of. If I'm honest. And I am seldom otherwise. I am not impressed. No wonder she recommended you for further training. Once you are shackled to my glorious Sycanium, I will mentor you in the skills and operative needs to survive. One assumes you do want to survive. Have no fear. My psychic conjurations cannot kill you. Though they may leave persistent feelings of inadequacy. <laughs> Let us explore your limits together. You've come to learn, yes? The Sycanium is just the place. You can chain light or heavy attacks in any order. Chained attacks have different angles of attack and damage properties. have a powerful special attack. Others have a special ability that changes their next attack. can stagger groups of enemies. Pushing requires stamina. Grenades can be equipped and thrown. Each class has access to different grenades. Combat ability massively increases gun handling and damage for a brief time. Dodging allows you to evade range fire and melee attacks. Melee attacks cannot be dodged if you have a ranged weapon active.
enemy attacks initially damage your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stun you if you have no toughness. enemies in melee replenish his toughness. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness regeneration. This is arguably the most important part of the tutorial because you need to stick with your team. No matter what, you need to stick with your team because regenerating toughness is part of this game. So that circle around there is the radius of his coherency. I'm outside it so I don't get any regeneration. I'm inside it so I do. That marks the end of basic training. You are now ready to serve. Should you wish to further hone your knowledge, you can undertake advanced training. Use armor-piercing weaponry and attacks to damage armored enemies. You can perform a unique follow-up attack after a push. Medipacks and ammo crates can be picked up and deployed to aid your team. Teammates can be helped up. Incapacitated teammates are captured by the enemy, but can be rescued. Corruption is caused by certain attacks, items, or being downed. Corruption reduces maximum health. If you are downed when the last segment of your health bar is corrupted, you are incapacitated and captured. <laughs> Health can be restored and corruption cleansed at <coughs> Medicaid stations. Medicaid stations have limited uses, indicated by the glowing lights. Dangerous enemies can be tagged to alert your team. World markers can be placed to help coordinate your team's tactics. Please wait! Follow me! Sprinting helps avoid range fire. Crouching while sprinting performs a slide. Sliding helps evade attacks. Similar to dodging. Closing with ranged enemies forces them to stop shooting and engage in melee combat. When a ranged 
ranged enemies are shot at, they flinch, becoming suppressed. Suppressed enemies try to take cover and will not fire back. Enemy ranged attacks cause suppression, making it harder to land accurate shots. Get out of the line of fire to restore accuracy. This marks the end of your advanced training. You now know everything you need to survive, Tertia. All right, this is the end of this tutorial, and once I get through this, I'll be shoved into the hub world, and you'll be able to see other players walking around. That's a good chance for me to open up my inventory. Uh, uh, get our basic gear starting out, a lasgun shovel, veteran sharpshooter, and cosmetics. I actually have a lot because I was uh, beta testing, so... And then there are frames I've earned from my Augurin. Well. I'll equip some cosmetics after.
Now this is a new option they just patched in recently, which is private games. And that's real nice because now you can play solo, now you can play with only your friends. I mean you could play with only your friends before, but now you can play solos. That's great. And from what I can see, they've also patched out the uh, problem I had playing at relaunch and in the beta where... Uh, Level 1 characters can sign up for rank 3 and rank 4 difficulty missions right off the bat. If you're level 1, you have no business going higher than 2. You'll barely... I mean, you can survive 2. With 4 players, it's, it's rough, but it's doable. I was gonna say you'll barely survive 2, but that's a lie. It's, it's rough, but it's doable. But, uh, you'll... You're barely survive three. You'll be lucky if you can survive a four. And they wouldn't let you do a five at level one. <coughs> I hate that the lockout is only until level three. <laughs> uh, you gotta be rank three to do a, a level three difficulty mission. No, that's that should be that should be five. That should be ten. I don't like that that's 12, but hey, you want to try the highest difficulty without half of your perks, then, you know, go for it. And that's another thing I should talk about. Beats are the perks that I'm referring to. You get them every five levels up to 30, and they are 100% what you need. I'll also say, as you play and as you get higher level, uh, there is a section where you can buy better gear with in-game currency. And the gear you can buy, the gear you get access to buying better the higher level you are, so... That's why I'm saying... That should be at least 5, and that should be at least 10, and that should be at least 15. It, uh, I like they've locked it out to level 1 players who don't know what they're doing. Or have no gear, which is the most important part. If you don't have any gear, why are you jumping into these? Don't can't jump in immediately. There are a lot of people in the beta power leveling by just going, "Hey, I'm rank one, highest I can sign up is four. four. I'll jump over into a four, and uh, it'll be three players against everything else because I'm dragging the whole team down." Because as you rank up. As you gain trust ranks and get better gear, your gear does more damage and you hold more ammo. So at rank 1, I hold uh, the least ammo as possible and I deal the least damage as possible. And I have no feats, so I can't help my teammates just by being there. I go quick place edition. Uh, that's, that's, all the, that's the only gripes I have. I like that they started locking people out. I hope that in another patch, they'll raise them up a little higher. Because max rank is 30. 15 would put you at half, and you'd still be able to jump into the highest level. I do like that they added private sessions now. Used to be forced co-op, now it's not anymore. That's great.
Reserves of special issue ammunition are currently suboptimal. We shall redress this. The heretics are employing Logistratum Chasm Station as a stockpile. This creates opportunity. Once the material has been located, Valkyrie support will be authorized. about in the dark like heretics. Oddly, Mercedes didn't fancy flying into the Logistrata and Skyfire defences. Lots of corridors and turns in this place. Stay sharp! May we return to the mission? Thank you. Proceed to maintenance node Chiron 13. <laughs> oh, and it looked like such a lovely day. That little blue skull. With the number ticking up and down, that tells me how many people I'm next to. That's my coherency. So if you can't see your teammates, keep an eye on that, and that'll tell you how many you're near. Whether or not you can reiterate toughness. on target next time. Sharpen up, Julia! Elevator is non-functional. 
Employ your initiative to descend. Medicare station! Oh, Hermit! You need ammo, soldier! Ammo! All right, so fight again, priest. Thanks, 
Chesterfield, hot clock you hit! Time to count the ammo and offer our prayers. Oh, dibs on counting the ammo. You handle the rest. No, no, no. Send to Logistratum supply track Chiron 13 Iota. Follow it to Logistratum Chasm Station. <laughs> ammo! Every bullet a prayer of vengeance! Got to heal! Oh my 
Templar, fear not. Oh, look at you all dropping out. Can you not hear me? Help! Try good night! Don't ye dare leave me here! I heard you already! If you get cut off, just keep talking, fighting! Move that to the window! A glorious death in the corner! Roger Start and Access. Satisfactory. Mission progress. Acceptable. <laughs> Ever wonder what it's like? Oh, who cares? Likes of us will never get to see it. Terror lives in our hearts. Prepare it as ye would the God Emperor. Looks like a carking sky fire command relay. We'd better disable it. An excellent idea. Proceed. With a nowhere near each other and those grenadier messing with
Enemy resistance in the hive is chewing holes in the warband. We're losing trained veterans. And what do I get to replace them with? Dirtbag raw recruits like you. So here's a chance to impress me. You need to give us your best on every damn mission. You understand? I'll be watching you, Acolyte. What does your best look like? Alright, I've unlocked the armory, and the next story thing happens at level 4, so that's a couple missions. The armory is where you buy all your weapons, and the higher rank you are, the better they get. Generally. The higher rank you are, the more you get access to as well. But if we go into cosmetics... Uh, you can see... That as a veteran, we have access to a lot types of weapons. And these all cost the in game currency. So there's different things to pay attention to, uh, alt fire, special action, these numbers are your damage, and if we hit inspect, the aim down sights, hit fire. Some weapons have a difference, some weapons are burst fire, hit fire, some weapons are semi-auto when hit fire, some weapons are full auto when hit fire, and some weapons change from burst fire to uh, full auto when aimed down sights. From semi-auto to burst fire when aimed down sights. And you can see right here, these are two different LAS guns. This one's got one higher rating than this one. This one carries more ammo than this one. But that one deals less damage. The one with more ammo deals less damage. I'd still take it because it's a lot more ammo. Well, I say a lot more. Nine more in the magazine. 53 more in your pouch. Vendor subroutines. Unit operational. Oh yeah, and this refreshes every so often, so if you don't see anything like in here now, you can... Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna call it. See you guys next time.